Luigi's voice has not changed. That's what I thought, at least. Charles Martinet, who also voices Mario, has been in charge of Luigi's voice for the last two decades. If Luigi's voice sounds different now, it's just because Charles has gotten older. Well, that's what I thought. But then someone sent me a message on Twitter, and it turns out I was wrong. Luigi used to have two different voices, and the version of Luigi that you heard could have been either. It just comes down to luck. Let me tell you about why Luigi doesn't sound like he used to. So if we're talking about Luigi's voice, there is one very important man to bring up, Charles Martinet. In the early 1990s, Charles Martinet showed up to an audition for the voice of a video game character. Actually, Charles Martinet wasn't invited to the audition, he showed up uninvited. The guy running the audition told him, you're an Italian plumber, you're gonna have to talk to all kinds of people, just go do your best. So Martinet's first thought was kind of a stereotypical Italian Brooklyn type guy. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. But then he realized that that voice might be kind of scary for kids. So on a whim, he went with a much higher pitched and friendly sounding voice, the one we know today. It's me, Mario. Which was based on the character Gremio from a Shakespeare play. Gremio is this old, friendly Italian man. So Charles Martinet just changed him into a young, friendly Italian man. Okie dokie, let's make a pizza pie together. You go get some sausage. I'm gonna get some spaghetti. We're gonna put the spaghetti in the sausage. Even this with pizza. Hey, I'm gonna change the pizza. Famously, Charles Martinet kept talking and talking for so long that the tape recorder ran out of tape. He was told, go home, please just leave. So Martinet thought that meant he didn't get the job. But before long, he heard back and he was successful. He got the role. In fact, his was the only tape the interviewer sent to Nintendo. So you might be wondering what the audition was for. Mario 64? Mario Kart? No, it was for real life. Basically, Nintendo had this advanced real-time technology where Charles Martinet would be strapped up in a big metal helmet and any movements he made would be transferred to this 3D Mario head. Anybody who walked past the booth would be picked up on a secret little camera and Charles Martinet would start talking to them as Mario. That's where Mario first got the voice that we know and love. But what about Luigi? Well, sometimes people would ask if they could speak to Luigi instead of Mario. However, no one had made a 3D model for Luigi with this real-time tech, so Charles Martinet couldn't show Luigi on screen. There was no Luigi to show. And so he came up with a clever solution. He would say something along the lines of, my brother is very shy. He is cooking some spaghetti in the kitchen. Say hello, Luigi. And then Charles would reply as Luigi, except he couldn't move his lips at all. Otherwise, Mario on screen would look like he was talking. And so the voice Charles came up with was something he made up on the spot, bound by the limitation of not being able to move his mouth. Uh, no, I'm too shy. Besides, I'm in the kitchen making spaghetti meatballs. It was a voice he could do while keeping his jaw clenched. As for Nintendo, well, they had no input at all on the voice. It was all Charles. It was funny though, people kept asking to see Luigi, but there was nothing that Charles Martinet could do. He didn't have a Luigi. Oh, what's your kid? She's asking pretty please. Hang on, I ask him. Luigi, pretty please? Oh no, I'm sorry, can't do it to be shy. So that's how it's We didn't have Luigi as the character made, right? So I otherwise it would have gotten you. Know, sure, I'll bring him up, you know? Now, a few years later, Nintendo developed Super Mario 64. And for the first time, they gave Mario a human voice. It's me, Mario! They figured Charles Martinet was doing such a good job with the real-time 3D Mario, it just made sense to put him in the games too. And so, he became the voice of Mario in Super Mario 64. Yahoo! In fact, he's been the exclusive voice of Mario since that day. So you'd expect the same would happen with Luigi, right? Not so. 
You see, while Super Mario 64 was in development, a completely different team within Nintendo was developing the game Mario Kart 64. And in this game, the racers were going to speak for the first time. And this is where I need to introduce you to a guy called Julien Bardakov. Bardakov was a French translator for Nintendo of Europe, but in the 1990s he was asked to come all the way over to Japan to translate Super Mario 64 into French. Oh, and he was only 19 at the time. So one day Pardakov was on his lunch break. Actually, he was playing Magic the Gathering with one of his friends at the company. And that's when he was shown a demo of Mario Kart 64. It wasn't finished, they didn't have any of the voices yet. So Julian said, can I do Toad's voice? And the other guy told him, sure, you just have to come to the recording studio. So Julian Bardakov showed up at the recording studio, and the person in charge of the recording was Koji Kondo of all people, the legendary composer who's written uncountable iconic video game songs like the themes from Mario and Zelda. But at the time, Bardakov didn't recognize Koji Kondo. Of course, he knew who Koji Kondo the composer was, but he had no idea that the man in front of him in the recording studio was that guy. So Bardakov started running through some of the things he was going to say as Toad, but then Koji Kondo stopped him and said, you don't have a Toad voice, your voice would be more fitting for Luigi. And that is where the arguments began. Et personne joue Luigi dans Mario Kart. Et je dis mais non, je veux, je veux pas être Toad. Je veux être Toad, je veux pas être Luigi. Je m'engueule avec Kondo, avec Kondo, mais ça change pas que c'est lui. Ça c'est le français qui s'engueule avec le Eventually, Koji Kondo managed to persuade Julian, and he ended up recording the voice clips for Luigi. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Charles Martinet is in Mario Kart 64. He just voices Mario and not Luigi. Anyway, here's Julian Bardakov as Luigi. Bingo! <laughs> Here we go! Oh! Luigi is the top! Mamma mia! Ow, 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 ow! Yahoo! When Mario Kart 64 was released in the US, Nintendo of America decided to re record some of the voices. Some of them, like Peach, had quite thick Japanese accents, which I think is why Nintendo chose to replace them. But as for Luigi, I'm not sure what Nintendo's reasoning was. Perhaps it was to be more consistent, but consistent with what? The 3D talking heads? I don't know. Anyway, for whatever reason, poor Julian's voice got ditched, and replacements were recorded by none other than Charles Martinet. And he essentially just used the exact same voice that he had created for the real-time talking heads. Take a listen to his voice in Mario Kart 64. Bingo! Ho 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 ho! Here we go! Ho ho! Mamma mia! I'm Luigi, number one! Wow 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 wow! Yahoo! Weirdly though, this is not at all the end of the story. Because for the next six or seven Mario games, it was kind of down to luck which of these two voices you would hear. Nintendo couldn't make up their mind which one to use. Let me show you what I mean. The next game featuring Luigi's voice was Mario Party. And in this game, regardless of whether you're playing in Japan or America or Europe, the voice clips you'll hear are Julian, the Frenchman's. Luigi is the top! But then, the next game featuring Luigi was Mario Golf. And this time, Charles Martinet was asked to record some new voice lines for Luigi. Over the next few years, Nintendo kept doing that same thing switching between Julian and Charles's voices, kind of depending on how they felt that day. At least that's the impression I get. Oh, not to be distracted, but quickly coming back to Mario Golf, the voice clips for Luigi in this game are really funny. I'm not sure what was going through Charles Martinet's head during the recording session, but Luigi sounds kind of terrifying in this game. Listen out and see if you agree with me. Here we go. Hmm. Hurry up already, eh? Luigi is a number one. Luigi is a tops. Mamma mia. Yeah, Luigi sounds like a member of the mafia or something. Very strange. Anyway, what happened afterwards? Did this flip-flopping just keep on going forever? Obviously not. And there's one game that cemented Luigi's voice as Charles Martinet up until this very day. And the game is... 
Luigi's Mansion. For the first time, Nintendo wanted to make a game focused completely on Luigi. Actually, the game was originally just going to feature Mario, as usual. But when the developers started introducing ghosts and haunted mansions, they figured it made more sense to play as the infamous scaredy cat, Luigi. Realistically, the developers had two options to pick from, Julian or Charles, and this decision essentially set Luigi's voice on its current path. They picked Charles Martinet. So, Charles Martinet came to the recording studio, where he was shown an in-progress version of the game. It wasn't finished yet. During the recording, Charles ended up putting a lot of himself into the role. Like in Luigi's Mansion, Luigi will whistle or hum to himself as he explores the mansion. That is Charles Martinet doing the humming, to be clear. And according to Charles Martinet, he himself does that exact same thing in real life when he's nervous too. Although presumably not while exploring haunted mansions. Anyway, here's what the final voice clips sound like. Mario! 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 Mario? Yeah! Whew, mamma mia! <laughs> oh yeah. Martinet drew on his own life when recording the voice for this game. He himself is a younger brother, and he tends to be more timid and anxious than his older brother, just like Luigi and Mario. And having those real-life anchors likely helped Martinet out during the recording, since Luigi's personality hadn't really been fleshed out much in the past. And now, all of a sudden, Charles Martinet was in a recording booth, humming and whistling and saying the word Mario in 13 subtly different ways. As he himself explained, Yeah, it's, 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 it's intimate, isn't it? You get to see Luigi, you get to really feel his uh, trepidation and hesitancy, and then, and then his joy and happiness and triumph. So what about after 2002? Has Luigi's voice changed any more since then? Well, in terms of voice actors, it has not changed. Charles Martinet is still voicing Luigi in the year 2021. However, the way in which Charles Martinet portrays Luigi has definitely changed since then. The character's voice has become notably deeper over the last 20 years. Let's use the Luigi's Mansion series as an example. Here's a clip from that first Luigi's Mansion game. Mario! Mario! And then, here's what he sounds like almost two decades later in Luigi's Mansion 3. It's not like he sounds like a completely different guy or anything, but the difference in pitch is definitely noticeable. Which isn't a surprise, Charles Martinet is, after all, a human with a voice, and human voices do change over time. If anything, his current voice harkens back to the good old days. Hurry up already, eh? So yes, Martinet does a brilliant job voicing Luigi. Although, I will say, Julian Bardakov definitely wins points for style. Arguing with Koji Kondo of all people over whether to voice Toad or Luigi, that wins all the awards in my books. Mamma mia! Oh god, that was my attempt. I tried, I'm sorry. Um, subscribe and turn on notifications if you liked this video and want to see more of what I have up my sleeves. Psych! I'm wearing a t-shirt, you fool! No sleeves here. See you next week. <laughs>